Hey, my name is Tony Albert, and I am the host of Baseball After High School. It is a brand new program where we try to connect the high school baseball players with coaches in the college ranks of NAIA and NCAA Division III levels. So here we're going to find out a little bit about the coaches, their programs, and their schools, about campus life. You're going to find out maybe academic requirements, scholarship monies that are available, so forth. So listen in. If you like this information, you want to hear more, we're going to do many more interviews with coaches. And you can sign up below. Each interview that we have with these coaches, we will notify you through via email. So at the end of this video, which is coming up right now, we have a gentleman named John Taylor. He is the head coach of the Cincinnati Christian University Eagles. He is located in Cincinnati, Ohio, high atop the hill with a great view and a beautiful campus. They are playing in the NAIA River City Division. And if this interests you, then listen in. This is some uh, just a short clip. It's not going to be in its entirety. That will later be broadcast on iTunes and Stitcher. So, again, my name is Tony Albert. This is Baseball After High School. This is BaseballAfterHighSchool.com that you clicked on to. This will be our full site in the future. Right now, it is just a landing page. So, thanks again. Now, let's listen in on John Taylor. Hey, John, this is baseball's inaugural season. There is other teams that are starting up at your school. Can you give us a little insight on what is happening at your school? They had women's softball for the first time this past season, and uh, this year we got football starting in the fall. So uh, it's very exciting times for the university, uh, giving young, uh, young kids an opportunity to continue uh, not only their education, but an uh, opportunity to continue to play on a sport that they love. Hey, John, we know how far a high school baseball team will travel, but college is a little bit different. Can you give us an idea how far your travels will be with the team? Well, we play, our league schedule, we play, it used to be called the KIAC. Uh, today, actually, it has changed to River States Conference. Today is the official day that the conference has changed its name. Basically because uh, when they started that conference, it was mostly just teams from Kentucky. Uh, now we have teams as far as uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You got Point Park, so that's probably our furthest trip going to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, West Virginia Tech. Generally, we're about uh, anywhere from two and a half to four hours away is where most of our games are played. Hey, John, tell us a little bit about your school. And also, you guys have one heck of a view of downtown Cincinnati. Yeah, we, we are definitely known for the school with a view. Uh, uh, it does have a, view, a good view of downtown Cincinnati. Uh, but the school's been in existence since 1924. Uh, it started out as a Bible college. Uh, and that's pretty much all they, 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 they did at that time was... was uh, students would come there to be prepared to go out and uh, become pastors or youth ministers, uh, something within you know within the church. Uh, then it changed from a Bible college. Actually, it was a seminary first. I'm sorry. It was started out as a seminary, and then it went to a Bible college, uh, and then it went to the university, Christian Society Christian University. Uh, so what they what they've done. Is, is that, that we've added a lot more degrees and, and what, you know we feel like we're a family there at Cincinnati Christian University. Uh, you know you get the large family which is the entire student body but then as your academic sports guy you know you have your family there but you know our baseball team uh, we're very close but, but you know it's, it's a great place to come to school it's not a large campus uh, but it's a, it's a nice campus it's, uh, it's safe there in that, that little area up there. We sit up on a hill. Uh, it's a great opportunity to come to a place and get a good, good Christian based uh, education. Hey, Coach Dusty Baker was known as a player's coach, and Lou Pinella was a hard nosed coach. What style do you think you take after? I, I would hope that they would see me as a player's coach. At times, they, they, they will know that uh, I'm serious about what we do, you know, but it's not, it's not all about baseball. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's trying to teach the, the young guys uh, 
just to make them successful in life. I mean, most of them after their career at the, in college, their baseball career will be over with, and you got to prepare them for what's happening in life in general. And on a baseball field, you can you can learn a lot of life lessons, uh, and hopefully that's what we strive to do is to teach them. Uh, you know, whether in adversity on a baseball field, it's going to help them uh, in the real world when they get out there. So I would hope that they would look at it as a player's coach, but also, you know, when it's time that we have to get serious, we get serious. Give me an avatar or a player that you would love to have on your team, the qualities that this player would have. Well, it goes back to some of those questions that you just asked, uh, and, and some of them go hand in hand. Uh, but you know, you do look for you do look for uh, players that's got some athletic ability. Uh, but you're also looking for players that can come in and be leaders. Uh, that, that's why I said leadership uh, earlier, uh, because every team a coach can only do so much. Uh, you got the, you got players actually look to other players. Uh, so you know, when I'm out recruiting, I'm looking for kids that have some athletic ability, but are also leaders of their team. Uh, because you know, player, that's what players do. Players look to other players to, to try to uh, imitate them or, or want to be like them some way or another. So, so yeah, I look at athletic ability, but also look to see what type of leadership abilities that the, that the young man might possess. There you have it. That was John Taylor of the Cincinnati Christian University Eagles. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, this was just clips of a interview that I did with John. You can hear that in its entirety at a later date. Please, if you would like to be notified of when this happens, sign up below. Plus, all the future guests that I have on, I will notify you if you are on our email list. So sign up below. Thanks for listening in. This is Tony Albert. This is Baseball After High School. Peace.